Welcome to 1999, the year of the cyber athlete and the year of Tiger Woods 99, which actually didn't come out in 1999. It came out in August of 1998. So that's quite a few months away from 99. Um, I, I don't understand how they do sports games like that sometimes. I mean, I get the reason why, but they could have easily called this Tiger Woods 98. It came out in August of 98, so you're about, if I'm doing my math correctly, you're about four months off from 99. But 1999 was an important year for this game, because in January of 1999, this game was recalled by Electronic Arts. And it wasn't because the game was bad. Oh, no, no, no. You know they would never recall a bad game. That's just games in general. Um, <laughs> even today, they don't recall bad games. They just patch them quote unquote. But this game was actually recalled not for the game content itself, but an Easter egg of sorts. And probably the worst well, it wasn't the worst. It, in my opinion it was the best. But it, according from what I've seen, it was probably it was the most and worst Easter egg that made them pull the game off the shelf. And the game itself, and it, as far as the Easter egg were to go, you couldn't actually access it from the PlayStation. You had to have a PC now, rewind the clock back to 1998. PCs were just starting to really ramp up in people's households. When I got when I originally got this, I didn't have a PC. And I didn't have a PC till like 2 years later when they really started to drop down in price. Cuz a PC in 98, a decent one in 98 bucks would cost you about or actually not even a decent one, an okay one with monitor would cost you anywhere between 9 to $1200. So as far as that were to go, I had no access to it, but I did have someone that said, you know what, bring that game over. Let's slam this on my disc. And what happened? We looked in the, we were looking in the files on the computer. It says PlayStation, all this other stuff, files, audio. And then there's a little file that popped up that's called zdummy.dat. We clicked on it. It opens up QuickTimes. It's an AVI file. And long behold, it's an episode of South Park someone had actually put on the disc itself um, and it took them just over four or five months for EA to finally figure out what was going on I mean and now I mean nowadays they would have pulled this game within like the first two days of its existence you know it wouldn't even been a it wouldn't even I, I don't know if it would have made it past a week before they would have pulled it but in 1999 the internet was still kind of a new thing for the most part. It was definitely large, but it wasn't a media mass like it is today. So word spread quickly, but it spread to all the backwater forums. It didn't really spread to the mainstream until it took about four, over four months to get to that point in which EA recalled the game and then reprinted the disc. Um, this is the recalled copy. Uh, it actually has a different UP, the recalled copy has a different UPC than the one they released, I believe, later, I think in like February of 99, or maybe March, they re released it. And it had a different UPC where instead of 91111, it was all straight nines. Um, that's the first indication. The second indication was there's a disk number uh, that nine, that's 791107. That's, act, I believe, it's uh, 91109 or 909 or something like that in the actual one that doesn't have the episode on it. So, I mean, the game itself, was it alright? Eh, you know. It's a golf game um, with spectacular graphics. <laughs> Compared to, you know, what we were used to seeing back then, the graphics were pretty spectacular, but uh, I preferred Hot Shots Golf, personally. Um, they just seemed a lot simpler. There's Tiger Woods smiling. Exclusive tips they had him playing. Yay! You know, and all that fun shit like that. But I mean, it was it's a fir it was the first time that I had ever heard of a game getting ever recalled. I, I didn't know that was a thing. Um, and actually, if you look up of recalled games of for sorts, there's only a handful that seem to show up. I mean, handful, I mean about 20. You know, in how many years video games have been going? Over 40 years, almost 40 years. There's only been technically about 20 of them that's been recalled, and this was one of them. So as far as that were to go... You know, is this game hard to get a hold of? You just got to know what you're looking for. Like I said, it's more or less disc number. You could have a different case with the wrong disc, right disc, or wrong case. That type of deal. So, I mean, it's not... And is this thing valuable? No. I actually... And I don't know... Like I said, it's 
it's cool that it's recalled, but is it valuable? No, you can literally, I bought this for $4.95 off eBay, free ship. So, no, it's definitely not really valuable. Um, I guess it's valuable to someone who might, you know, want to be a collector, but it's extremely cheap to pick up. And I've had, you know, it's funny, and I tell people about what's on the disc, and they look at me funny. I'm talking like my, you know, anybody who's really, who was born pretty much after this, like after 99, that's grown up with the full internet era, YouTube era, where you can basically find anything you want at once. They even told me, they're like, well, what's the point of having this? They're like, you can just go on fucking YouTube and watch this. It's not really, it's just the point of actually having a PlayStation game that has that on it. You know, it's like anything else that's been either recalled or whatnot. You know, you don't necessarily have to have it, but it's just something cool that no one sees value in. I saw value in it, but I mean, as far as that were to go, there wasn't any... It seemed like most of the sellers didn't have a clue of what they were selling. You know, it's a lot of that, and there was only a hunt... Now, to give you perspective, there's only 100,000 copies of, these game, of this particular one made, and I don't know how many actually were recalled and pulled off the shelf by January of 99. So that was the first run of it. First 100,000 copies had it on there. So, I mean, you do the math of how many people bought it within a four-month span. Um, probably, I would say, quite a bit. And the only reason why I say that is they recalled this after Christmas of 99. So, you figure that Christmas, a low, a shit ton of games probably went out. I don't know how many were actually recalled. There's never actually any specifics. Um, I tried looking it up as far as that were to go. And there's, I never find any numbers of what was recalled. I just know when it was recalled. IGN, I remember running an article detailing it, how they recalled it, you know, because it had a South Park game on it. South Park game, South Park episode. So that's actually pretty neat. This game's seen a bit of uh, action. I mean, it doesn't have many scratches on it. Ah, there's a image of classic Tiger Woods, you know, when he was like 23 years old. Um, <laughs> actually, I think he was younger than that. I think he was like 20 there. 20 or 21, you know, he was he was a young cat back in those days. Ah, and there's another great game, NASCAR 99. Everything had 99 in it. Like, EA went ballistic, and, with, you know, with the numberings, like 99, just like they did with Madden's, but everything had a number on it. And then what, you know, NASCAR games didn't start to, you know, started to not sell as well because you had a lot of competition coming out by around 2000. So after, like, 2001... After like 2000, I should say, NAS, they, this is just going off the script. NASCAR 99 changed it to like NASCAR Heat. They just stopped making the numbered series. But that, as far as I'm aware, then we make three, like, I think three or four years. I think like maybe 97 and like 2000 or something like that. Um, I remember playing 98 quite a bit on the N64. But yeah, this is just a, I mean, I have really no gameplay of this. I, other than just having it with a South Park game, I really have no desire to play this game. Um, but what I was saying in the beginning about Welcome to 1999, that's actually something that they played in front of it. And like I said, it's kind of funny because the game didn't come out in 99. It came out, you know, in fucking August of 98. So, I mean, they were kind of ahead of their time. But, I mean, this was a... Now, when I, see, when I say EA, you know, this EA era was probably... It was basically, they were starting their, they had basically already peaked by about this era. They were peaking or had peaked. One of, you know, it's up to you whether you decide, because around the same time The Sims came out, you know, SimCity 3000 came out, um, Need for Speed 3 came out, you know, I believe most of those happened in 98. Um, so, I mean, they started, or 99, so this was either right before their post-peak or pre-peak, but they peaked very later on in 99. So the games were actually that they were putting out this time were good. They're not garbage like today. So if you ever hear anybody say that, now graphically you can't, now I'll say this for any PlayStation 1 game or any game for that matter, you really can't graphically judge a game by the graphics of the era. You, you got to look at what was available, you know, because there are games that are absolute shit that should have been better. Um, one example is Martian Gothic. It was a cool PlayStation 1 game and PC game. PC first on PlayStation came out in 2001. The graphics were absolutely horrendous. The 3D models were horrible. 
I, it, the, the reviews of that game were just funny because you're reading, you're, you're playing the game and you go, this is horrible. And this is 2001. Now, what it reminded a lot of people of is it reminded them of like Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 1-ish type stuff. That's like the character models they used. Just really outdated. And a lot of people were saying that, you know, by that time, even PlayStation 1 standards had gotten to a better 3D modeling. People have been able to use it better and they just felt like they rushed that game and just slapped it on there and sold it. Because by about that time, PlayStation 1 was at its down, uh, downturn. Now, don't get me wrong, that game is hard as fuck. Uh, so, maybe that had a lot to do with it. But, uh, yeah, this is just a real short video on Tiger Woods 99. Um, I just wanted to mainly just <laughs> highlight and say the South Park episode, Spirit of Christmas. Uh, to, put it, to put it in the article that EA released or whatnot, they said something about they didn't want to release a game that had not only a pilot before they had a series, but it was an unauthorized copy of it that they accidentally distributed. Because um, to be quite honest, I don't think EA really actually cared. I don't think it was, you know, the freaking, you know, Brad's mom, people going, we have to tell people about this. This is horrible. They should recall this. No, I think it was just uh, someone found it on the disc and was like, what the hell? And they either notified EA and EA pulled it for legality reasons instead of moral reasons. Let's be real here. No company pulls anything for moral reasons. They do it for money reasons. Had they kept it on there and not recalled it, you know, uh, the creators of South Park could have sued the shit out of them for distributing it. So that was more or less their uh, way out of it. And as far as that were to go, it's funny, I read a couple other articles about this game as well, that this was uh, Tiger Woods' first run-in with South Park, and a very bad omen to what was to come of not only him, but his career um, being recalled and all that. So I just, when I read that, I just kind of chuckled that, yeah, did, 98 was the peak for him, you know, this was the start of his downfall, you know. Your, the first game with your name on it gets recalled. <laughs> not exactly a great way to start your franchise name. Um, granted, it had nothing to do with him personally at the time, but as we all know, shit hits the fan, it hits hard. Thank you so very much for watching.